Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy and welcome to another tutorial on the Atmel Sam D21 Explained Pro Board. So today we're going to be looking at using the OLED One extension board which you can buy as a separate piece of kit from Microchip. Uh, the link is in the description of the video below. So the OLED One board is a organic LED uh, display and four buttons on a separate board so you can use it to generate graphics and text on the OLED screen and you can use the buttons as input for example for things like menus. The first tutorial we're going to do is just draw in some basic text and a rectangle on the screen just to give you guys an idea of what the board is capable of. As usual go to start.atml.com and select create new project and then if we select the SAM D21 Explain Pro Board and click Create New Project. Okay, so if we go ahead and rename this OLED. Now, we only have to add two drivers here because Atmel Start will add all of the other drivers that need to go on underneath. So if we type in GFX for graphics and we want the monochrome font and monochrome text drivers. So go ahead and click add components. And as you can see it's pulling in not just these drivers but all of the related drivers. Let's select our font driver and let's just rename this monochrome font. And we're going to use the basic 6x7 font here. So there's a few different options that we can use, but the 6x7 one is small enough to fit on the OLED screen, which is quite tiny, to be honest. Okay, and then if we look at our monochrome text driver, quickly rename this. And we can see that that's using the what we call the primitives instance. Now I'm going to rename this. So the primitives instance is actually the library for drawing basic shapes. So I'm going to call this monochrome graphics. So this is the driver that renders everything on screen. Now let's select our display instance and we want to change this so that we're using the UG2832 HSW EG04 driver. So that's the name of the OLED display that we're using. Now as you can see the controller instance is now highlighted in red and that's because the driver and the controller instance no longer works with this display. So if we go to our controller instance and the display controller for this OLED display is the SSD1306. So if we select that. Now we're going to be using the EXT3 header on the D21 board, which is this one at the bottom. So our chip select pin is PB17. Our DC pin is PB30. And we'll just leave our reset pin at PA01 for now. And finally, if we go to our SPI instance, let's just rename this display SPI. Now we're using the EXT3 header. So that's on Circom 5. And our pins are PB16 for MISO. PB22. Oops. for Mosey and P PB23 for the 
doesn't like me typing it in. PB23 for the SCK. We can leave a character size and board rate the same as it is. And there we go. Let's go ahead and export that project. Now, let's open it up and take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our Atmel start pins file. And this reset pin here we're actually going to change that to port B27, so PB27. For some reason, Atmel Start doesn't let you select that pin in the interface, so we'll just change that there. So the next thing to do is to open our GFX mono main file, and where we've got controller instance. We're just going to remove that, so we're using the CS, RES, and DC pins to find an Atmel start. Okay. Now, finally, let's go and open our main file. And let's start writing our basic program. So, we need to include our GPIO header. We need our monographics header. And our font header. Okay. So first let's create our display message. Now let's enable SPI and the OLED screen. So SPI M Sync enable. And we're going to enable display SPI. And then we're going to initialize the monographics library. Next we're going to draw a rectangle. GFX draw rect and we're going to use the monochrome graphics IO we're going to start at position 0 and we're going to do it for the width of the screen so these have been defined by our driver for that screen. And finally we're going to use the GFX pixel set for the colour. So this is going to draw a rectangle around the edge of the screen and now we're going to write a message in the middle. So GFX mono text draw string and this is in the monochrome text description we're going to write the contents of message we're going to start at the 20th pixel from the left and the 12th pixel from the top 
and we'll be using the basic 6x7 font. And that's it, that's all the code we need to write. Okay, so if you make sure the OLED display board is plugged into the bottom header on the D21 Explain Pro board, and then plug it in via USB, and let's go ahead and build our application. As you can see, it has printed the message on screen. So, there you have it. That's the basic example of how to use the OLED One extension board with the SAN D21 Explain Pro board. As usual, if you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. I hope to do another tutorial very soon. Cheers guys. Hi guys, it's Inventor Andy here. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, please click like, please subscribe to my channel, and please feel free to add any comments if you've got any suggestions for tutorials or videos that I can do. Thanks very much guys.